Here is a video on how to find the missing value when given the mean or the average. So please look out for another video that I've already created on just the basics of how to find the mean, median, mode, and range. For the GED, this is the uh, more complicated, the video I'm going to do right now on finding the missing value. Uh, most likely what you'll see on the math test. Uh, the other ones you might see on the science test or even the social studies test. But this, for this one right here, find the missing value when given the mean. For whatever reason, test makers really like this, this, um, this type of question. So let's give an example here, just a really stripped down one, not really in a word, word problem format. So the mean or the average is 60. And then you have four out of the five numbers. Notice the X here, okay? So you have a number 55, a number 40, and some unknown number. Then you have 70, then you have 62. And so the question is, what does X have to be for the average to be 60? So it's kind of a weird situation, right? Um, oftentimes they'll say like, oh, you lost a data, some data point. Uh, in a word problem and you need to find that missing number that is used to create this mean or the average of 60. So you know the average and you know that there are five numbers but you only know four of the numbers, okay? So how do you find that missing number? Um, well, if it's multiple choice, you could plug in the numbers um, and work backwards. I'm actually not going to show that because I, I rarely see that um, on any sort of GED test item. So here's some of the basics. Step one, find the sum total of the numbers you know. So in other words, we're going to add up these four numbers that we know. And then two, find the total of the numbers by multiplying the average by the number of numbers. So th that brings us to this one right here. So we know that the average, that sort of the formula for the average is to find the sum total. So you add up all the numbers and you divide by the number of numbers, okay? Well, we can work backwards. We can actually multiply the average that we know by the number of numbers to get the sum total. So we'll do that in a second. And then the third one is subtract what you know the numbers that you know, these four numbers that we know from the whole total. And then that'll give us our missing value. So in other words, it looks like a little bit like, like this. So we have all the, the total of all the numbers that we know. Sorry, the total of all the numbers, including the one we don't know, minus the number of known numbers, that gives us the missing value. Same thing. So the total of all the numbers minus the known numbers, that's going to give us our missing value. So let's go ahead and do this. So the first thing we want to do is actually find the total of the numbers that we know. So that's these numbers here, 55, 40, 70, and 62. So let's put these over here in the GED calculator. 55 plus 40 plus 70 plus 62. And therefore, we know the total of known numbers here is 227. Okay, so we can, we can also kind of... Now we'll just leave that here, I guess. And here's our minus. So now we need to find the total. We know that the average is 60. Again, they tell us that. It's right here. 60. And we know that there was, I know there's, we only know four numbers, but this X tells us that there's actually a fifth number. So this is 5. And this kind of, in a way, becomes the X. And so if you've started solving equations, what we have is a one-step equation, where 60 equals X divided by 5. And so this is kind of a question to you. What number divided by 5 is 60? Or how do we undo, if, if x is our variable, if it's being divided by 5, the opposite or the inverse operation of that is to multiply each side by 5. These will cancel out. And this is our total. x is now our total. okay? And that's 5 times 60, which is going to be 300. So 300 is our uh, total of five numbers, okay? So what we have here is 300 minus 227, and that will give us our answer. This is step three, minus 227. So our answer is 73. And you could go back and... Um, uh, you know, plug that number in to prove it, 
I'm not going to take the time here, but you know, you could add up with 73 here as the number. Add 55 plus 40 plus 73 plus 70 plus 62 and divide it by 5 and you will get 60. Okay, so here's the very similar problem, just a little bit uh, easier. Numbers, what is the missing value of the following set of numbers if the mean is 8? So again, they give us three numbers, but we know that there's a fourth number that is somehow missing. And when we add up all these numbers and divide by 4, we get 8. All right? So the number of known numbers is 9 plus 5 plus 7. So let's see 9 plus 5 plus 7 equals 21. So we, uh, here, we can put that kind of over here, if you, too, if you want. So we're going to have the total of all the numbers we need to find. So that's, again, we're going to put the average here is 8, and there's four numbers, and this is what we want. This is sort of the question, or this is the unknown, solving for x for the sum total. And so, again, what we do is we multiply, um, find the total of all the numbers by multiplying the average, which is 8, by the number of numbers, which is 4. Okay, so 8 times 4 is 32. Put it in the calculator if you need to. 32 minus 21. Let's do it like this. 32 minus 21 um, is going to be 1 from 2 is 1, and then 2 from 3 is 1 for a total of 11. Okay, so our answer here, this missing value is 11. The missing value is 11. All right. So here is a more uh, real-world example, actually, um, something I used to do when I was a student, and potentially a way that you might see it on the GED. So Amir wants to average above 90% for a class so he can get a final grade of an A. His first three tests were 99%, then 88%, and then finally 85%. What is the minimum grade it will take on the final test to get an A in the class? So um, trying to figure out, you know, is it even possible for Amir to get an A in this class? And if so, how well does he have to do on this final test in order to, to get that A? So if hopefully you can see there's actually um, three tests that he's taken so far, one, two, three, and the final test will be the fourth, okay? And he wants to average 90%. So let's remove, this is kind of our, our, our support here. So the total number of numbers that we know is adding up these numbers here, 99 plus 88, so 99 plus 88 plus 85. So let's go ahead and use the calculator here. 99 plus 88 plus 85 equals 272. So that's how many total points Amir has right now in the class. And if, if there's four tests, assuming they're all worth 100 points, um, and he wants to average 90%, um, again, the, the average is equal to the sum total, which just means to add them up, divided by the number of numbers, which the average in this case, he wants to have a 90. The number of numbers is going to be 4. And so how we figure this out is we multiply these together. Okay, 4 times 90. Let's go ahead and put that in the calculator. Uh, if you know 4 times 9 is 36, you can just add a 0 for 360. So in other words, Mir needs 360 total points in the course in order to get that A. We're going to subtract the number that he wants from the number he already has to get that missing value or that final score that he needs to get on the test. Okay, so we have 360, put it in the calculator here, minus 272 equals an 88. So Amir is almost there. As long as Amir gets an 88 on the final test, he will get that 90%. So Khan Academy does this really well. Um, I've linked to 
the find the missing value given the mean uh, really encourage you this is one of those skills that it's asked very straightforward on the GED at least every time I've ever seen it so if you really practice this this is um, I think a high leverage uh, skill that you can really improve your score with so good luck I hope you enjoyed this video Please like this video if you found it valuable and subscribe if you would like to see more videos like these. Visit the link below to passtheged.org to see more videos and learning opportunities that will help you get the highest passing score on the GED. And good luck.